All right, y'all. Today I'm gonna to show you how to repair stripped valve cover threads on an LS motor cylinder head. So these aren't stripped, this is just an example. So first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do, uh, valve train's installed and you felt the dreaded loose turn. You're gonna take a cloth rag and then you're gonna put it around, I guess, the thread tower, whatever you call this. You're gonna put a cloth rag around here and what I did was, poor decision, you tell me. I took compressed air and I blew out all the shavings. Uh, I took another rag and I covered up the rest of the valve train, like so. And I just went slow with the compressed air. It worked. So after you do that, this is just my strategy. Y'all can do this if you want. I'm not recommending it. Then again, I'm not influencing it. I'm just strictly showing y'all what I did. You can take a dial gauge or you can just do what I did. I took a screwdriver. I took the screwdriver and I made sure it was at the center at the bottom of the threads. And I put it as flush as I could with the surface. Don't know if y'all can see that or not. And then I took a Sharpie and then as flush as I could, I just marked it just like so. After that, took the screwdriver out. You can see the Sharpie mark right there. Then I took my measuring tape and then I measured it. This is not the actual measurement. This is just an example to show you how I did it. Your measurements may differ. Oh, my 243 heads that I had the stripped thread on, it came out to, I think an inch and a half. I don't know. This may differ, but this is just an example to show you what I did. So I took my measuring tape and I measured how far back it would be. And then you're gonna take your quarter inch drill bit and you're gonna measure the same length from your screwdriver onto your drill bit. And again, this is just a rough example with the tape. And then you're gonna take scotch tape and where, how far back you measured it from your screwdriver onto your measuring tape, then to your bit, you're gonna take uh, scotch tape and wrap it around how far back you gotta go. So that way you won't drill down too far. So while you're drilling, use WD-40. Um, I, I forgot to do that after I looked it up on LS Tech. Uh, use WD-40 while you're drilling. I don't know if that goes the same way with when you're cutting new threads. Um, so after you're done drilling the old threads out, you're gonna take your thread tap. These come in the helicoil kit. I got mine from AutoZone. They cost about 30 bucks. And these are included in the kit. It comes with the helicoil tool, three helicoil thread repairs, and then a thread tap. You're gonna, because I, everything else in the way. I just put this in the drill, put the, tighten the chuck up around here because it would slip whenever it was around here, whenever I get deep in the threads. Uh, so after that, you're gonna keep it as straight as possible and slowly start to cut new threads. And that goes with drilling as well. Keep it straight and slow, all right? So once you're done with that, this is your helicoil size that you're gonna be looking for, M6 by one. This is what I use. This is what everybody told me to use. Um, so, that, so that's gonna be the size for your thread repair. And then you wanna take your helicoil kit. You're gonna put your thread repair on and you're gonna run it down into the threads. The thread repair will not work with factory threads. Save yourselves time, guys. I already tried this. It's not gonna work. Just cut the threads. So after you're done with that, this little um, piece right here that your tool grabs onto, you're gonna take a punch and you're gonna punch that out when it's at the bottom of the threads. I wasn't able to do that because it just wouldn't come out. It hasn't posed an issue yet, so I just left it the way it was. But guys, that's, that's really it. It wasn't that hard. It was just time consuming. Um, just keep the bits like the drill bit and the tap as straight as possible and cut it slow. And then that's just do the, um, the thread repair. It's not that hard y'all. It, it really isn't just time consuming. So that's really all that there is to it. Uh, I hope that this helps y'all out if you do run into this issue. So that's, that's really it y'all. Hope this helps y'all and I'll see y'all around.